Good morning, New York City, Toronto, Montreal, Mexico City traders. Slow, slow day in the FX world, as you saw from our <coughs> European Open. We're not doing much today. Um, we're just kind of waiting on the next level of volatility. Let me start with the cryptos because it's time to sell a little bit of crypto uh, on all the stuff you bought at 7500 and 6500 you should be offering at 8500 and 9500 with the same idea of selling 80% of what you bought keeping 20% at a beautiful average this is now definitely in play. Cryptos are back bid again. You can see from Ethereum, we're moving back towards that 910 level, which broke this weekend. Uh, this stuff has found a floor and is moving higher. So don't be greedy here. Take what you bought, sell a portion of it, get a good average, and then continue on with the same strategy cable mildly lower could have gone either way you know we don't have a view here at this point uh, we're dead set in the middle of the range the low is 65 137 65 on Friday the high was 138 75 and here we are at 16 so we're kind of in the middle nothing to do but mildly lower euro has gone the same route we traded up to 95 and now we're down at 40 it only becomes important if we can break 122 the figure but even if we do break 122 the figure the the big point is 121 66 through this uh, there'll be panic so but we're expecting buyers on the downside sellers on the top side we don't think euro is going to do a whole hell of a lot Dollar yen's done nothing. 50, 90 for the session. We're at 61. You see the trend line down there. Draw it as you wish, but this is the big moment. If you're a bull, go ahead and buy it. Good luck to you. We're bears, um, and we are going to hammer this thing through 108 to figure because we think it's important and we think we're in a bear market and you know time will tell euro yen and sterling yen middle of the recent ranges not much to tell this little triple bottom on the hourly is in sterling yen if you're a really short-term guy might be of interest but we're we're still just watching at this juncture because uh, FX is very muted at this point. Kiwi, yeah, sell high ones, take it back on the low ones, either book the profit or keep a good average short. This has been working for us, worked for us this morning, continues to work. One last thing, Zuma is supposed to be gone today. God bless Jacob. Uh, I'm not following it too closely, but prices here say it's not decided yet. What I do know is if you get above 1220, there's big, big problems. And this is price action we would enjoy because we will join that ride higher. Right now, we've given up on our dollars, our longs. We will re enter above 1220. Uh, but it does look like we're going to take a little bit of a voyage down below 1180. Which, you know, God bless. We're not on that side of the market. So we're just waiting for 1220 this side. Uh, one last thing, equities. Bullish today, as we were talking about this morning, a bit of a melt up to 26.55. The first real sell zone is kind of 26.85 to figure, and then 27.30. So we've done nothing so far in equities, but 
position core short through some structures. And if you're going to trade minis, just wait. If you're going to trade structures, look for a structure that's been mispriced. You know, we bought the May puts and SPY a couple of days ago that were eminently mispriced. A lot of these structures, these these option structures, there's so many of them. You can find one that's mispriced. You might as well prey on that one rather than just do the regular, you know, e-mini puts or e-mini calls, which are never going to be mispriced. You know, you have SPY. You have you have a thousand different vehicles which reflect risk on, risk off. Look for the mis look for the mispriced vehicle and attack that. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow.